Alrighty guys, we are outside. We've got some uh, peppers going crazy, lots and lots of growth, but as you can see, there's just a, you know, a, an intense amount of dead leaves. Um, and it's just an unbelievable aphid infestation. Like no matter what I do, you can see there's some dead ones, there's some alive ones, and I've already been cleaning for hours, like literal hours. You can see no matter where I, no matter where I look though, there's just, there's just more. And these are my Carolina Reaper plants. None of the Reapers have been able to grow at all because every little bit of new growth just gets murdered. I've been trying my best, but these plants are huge. Like, look at this. I've set up this fly trap five days ago. <laughs> five days ago, and that's that. And that's not the only one. I set up five fly traps five days ago. Look at that. Another one over there, and then there's two more I set up over down there. It, it, that's how many flies I see per five days I mean and that's how many get caught I should say there's probably a million more than that so you can only imagine how many aphids are also flying in here I don't know why the only reason I could think of is because right below me is the dumpster where literally all these hundreds of people that live in these apartments dump their dump like dump their garbage the flies come and get like pick up the aphids then the aphids themselves can also fly up here, but I feel like all the aphid babies that are down there, the flies pick up on their back, bring them up here, because all I see are just flies every single day running rampant on my plants. So I can only imagine, like I said, they're carrying the aphids. I don't, I don't know how else that would work, but yeah, it's like, it's bad, man. Like, it is bad. <laughs> like, that guy right there. <laughs> Yeah, at least some of the plants are making the way th are its way through there. You can see that even this Trinidad scorpion is trying its very damnedest. And luckily, like I said, guys, we actually have a one pepper, our very first super hot of the season. And it's sad that it might be the only super hot, unless these ones can actually make their way through. I'm, I'm trying so hard, like I said, to guard these plants and take care of them hours and hours a day, scraping aphids away. Because I don't want to spray them, because then that, that like obviously doesn't let the other insects do their job to try and take care of them. So I'm not spraying every day, I'm just literally scraping the leaves off with my fingers when I see the aphids. It's the best I can do. But like I said, it's impossible to do it when you have hundreds of plants. And every single one of them has the infestation. This one doesn't as bad, thank God, because it's like my favorite best plant. But this other, because and again, this is the burning bush, the habanero burning bush. But this straight up just orange habanero bush is, look at it, look how bad it is. Look at that. You can see a lot of the, like the parasitic wasps and ladybugs and stuff are killing them. But it is just a fully dead plant at this point. Like look, it, it's, it's like half and half. The plant is just stunted. It hasn't grown a single big habanero. I'm probably going to have to throw it out. Like, because it's just, it's just fully taken over. And it doesn't look like it, it's not going to have time or a chance to produce. And it's just bringing in that much more aphids. So, like, I'm actually going to have to trash this big orange habanero plant, which is, like, the saddest thing I've had to do. Because it was just, it was a beauty. It was my best tr plant forever. Like I said, it was like a tree. And now it's just dead because of an infestation. You can see I do spray th with that. But I've tried soap, I've tried neem oil, I've tried everything, I've tried everything, guys. I've literally tried everything, so... Doing what I can, but yeah, we're not getting the yield we should. Luckily, we are getting a good yield this year still, but it's nowhere near compared to what it should be, unfortunately.